Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to split a data frame in R programming language. So I have opened R Studio and what we're going to do is we're going to create one R script and here let's start by creating one data frame. So let's name it df and then call for read.table and inside that we are going to accept text and I'm going to copy some sample data outside this I'm gonna set header to true okay and then we will see our data table so let's execute this and next is running our data frame. so this is our data you can see X Y Z as our columns and total nine rows of data Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to see how to split this data into another data frame. So let's name this as df1 and here let's call split and this method will accept two parameters. So let's name this our first let's say df and then next will be our df and then call let's say x y and z let's call our y column and another data frame will be with content from y column so let me execute this and i'm gonna write df1 and let's check the output as you can see it will show us our y column specific output okay so you have your data based on this six then seven and eight each of that will be with the unique value so your data is now filtered according to you, the rows within your XYZ column okay so as you can see 2012 six is grouped then 7 is grouped and then 2008 is grouped this is how we split our data according to the unique values within our y column you can do that for z or you can do that for x as well as you can see x has some of the repeated row values which you can group and then you can create a new data frame with those values Okay. we can also see how to extract the first element from our data frame let's see if I want to get our new data frame with first element within its table so we can run this and you get your first element within split data frame Okay. as you can see this is our first unique element which is 2012-6 if you call for second then it will point that to okay as you can see it will point to the second also there is third you can check through okay so there you go you have your one two and three options so as you can see we have checked how to split data frame then how to get the first element so you get the idea how to split data frame in our programming language